So the Adidas Samba is still on a wave. We've got the Sporting Riches that have just hit. We've got the Wales Bonner collabs with the Sambas. And yeah, they actually sold out. So this is the Silver Samba in a size 10, because that's my size. And I had to get these. I got them off the raffle of up there. Thank you so much for the mighty win. And look, they even gave me a thank you card as well. Congratulations. Yes, that's right. So yeah. I can't wait to check out your brand new store on Flinders Street. So pumped. Hey True Gum guys, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to like, sub and share if you care for really cool geeky stuff, nerdy stuff, sneaker stuff, including my favorite brand of course, the Free Stripes. And yeah, so pumped for these. The beige pair, they're the ones that flew off the shelves, they were hard to get. These ones here, some sizes were sitting, but they're most likely all gone by the time you see this because hey, they're different and you know what, December, they are still on a wave in 2023. The Jones, they're rumored to come with a Samba version, so that could be pretty cool. So let's open up the box over here and wow, all right, all right. You know we got a little bit of class when we got this very cool uh, bag over here as well. Now these bags, look, I must admit, I don't really use the dust bags too often with the sneakers, but it's a really cool bonus all together. And bang, this is the Wales Bonner Silver Samba 2023. Now, for those who don't know, Wales Bonner is actually a really cool Jamaican British fashion designer. Um, she has been smashing it with her collabs with Adidas. She came out with um, the Jamaican uh, soccer jersey capsule and yeah, elevated pieces. So what we have is we have like the best of Adidas, the heritage silhouettes like this. And then we get the classy touch that she has and my goodness, I know people went gaga for the beige pair, but you cannot go wrong with these over here. These I had to cop and you can see why. This is your classic Oliver P silhouette. It's shiny <laughs> and I do like shiny things. Ooh, my precious. So this is very, very cool. I mean, first of all, let's see what she has done to the Samba. So first of all, we've got, we cannot forget this. This is a very, very classy, very, very shiny silver. And it does mirror. Yep, you can see my camera there in the background of that. The reflection isn't too crazy. Kind of reminds me of the clot reflectives that came out a couple of months ago last year I think as well so yeah so you don't really get too many of these kind of like pairs because it's a little bit too much but I think because this, the Samba is quite exquisite as it is you know it's a soccer shoe turned lifestyle turned basically TikToky worthy and so I think she's done enough here to make this her own so we've got the Wales Bonner logo over here, and this is imprinted quite nicely. It's not going to rub off anytime soon, so that's very, very cool. Um, and I love this. This is very, very nice as well. This is kind of like, um, kind of like laces, right? Literally lace that you might see on a curtain or wedding dress. And this has kind of been stitched on very, very strongly. So these aren't gonna fail. These aren't gonna like fail around or like unloosen. These seem to be glued on quite nicely. And this is all attached to a very, very nice brown gum midsole. Yes, that's right. And look at this. Oh yeah. That is very, very cool. I love that. I don't normally kind of like have the outsole in the middle of my uh, vids, but I just had to do it because just holding this in hand and like this, um, it feels so good. It feels classy indeed. Uh, yeah, this is very, very cool. Um, I'm just in love with this pair because it's so different. It is just so cool um, to see the Samba done like this. Um, you can keep your black and white ones. You know, they're, they're timeless. They're cool. But this, this is the pair where you want to rock when you want to make a statement, right? Like, I mean, I'm thinking like dress shoe. I'm thinking like a shoe that you want to rock maybe just during the spring. Um, yeah, very, very nice. I, I just feel like I want to rock these straight away, actually. And... The stitching here is actually pretty good. Like the craftsmanship here is very, very nice. So on point there with the stitching. I don't know how it's going to go with wear and tear. Like not going to lie, tree gum gums. It might get a little bit crinky over here. Already here we see a couple of creases. And yeah, this actually might get scratched. It might get scuffed. But hey, that's the beauty of wearing a sneaker, right? It's meant to be like that. However, I don't know how it's going to look like over the next couple of wears. 
I guess we'll find out. I might do an update on this sneaker because it is quite shiny. And you know, True Gum Gums, you deserve to know what's going to happen to this after a couple of wears. And I haven't even spoken about the exquisite gimmick slash feature on this sneaker. And this is its giant fat, well not fat, just a very long tongue. Yeah, that's right. Rick Owens, eat your heart out. <laughs> but yeah, this is very, very cool. Now, it's meant to be down, of course, so you can show off the really cool Adidas and Rose Bonner logo. If you decide to put it up like this, it would look mega weird because, first of all, it will just look like that. And you don't want that, Tree Gum Gums. You don't want this happening. I mean, maybe you do. It looks like a rabbit, actually. It looks... Looks like a, a rhino, a triceratops kind of style here, actually. Like, uh, name, name that name that Pokemon, actually. That's, yeah, you might want that. No, 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 no. I'm thinking I'm going to keep it down. It's meant to be down. Um, and now, you know, back in the old days, right? Well, I mean, they still do it now. But these are like, they're, they're kind of like cleats. Are they called cleats, maybe? Um, a couple of really cool football pairs still have these where you just cover it over. And it's meant to protect the laces. Now, of course, these here won't actually protect your whole laces. But they'll protect some, but it does kind of remind me, um, kind of similar to the uh, the G Dragons that recently came out. Right? They had a giant sort of slab on top of here as well. I think it's really cool because it gives you another chance to show off another feature of the sneaker without going over the top. Um, you know, over the years I've had like you know pockets on top of here with the uh, Sean Rubber Spoons, for example, Jimmy Cricket. So yeah, I, I I dig it. Like it's not a feature that's really used properly. The stitching here is still quite good and quite clean. And the laces here that you're trying to protect, Chewy Gum Gums, are very nice as well. So they're done quite neatly. So we've got the Whale Bonner logo there on the tips of the spare laces. And these are not your typical spare laces, Chewy Gum Gums. This is something epic because I looked at it and I'm like, is this like an optical illusion? Am I seeing flat laces? And yeah, they are flat laces indeed. Oh my goodness. Ribbon laces, Chewy Gum Gums. Have you ever seen such a thing? Um, yeah, this is very funky. I have never seen laces like this before, Tree Gum Gums. Now, you know me, I'm quite inclined to try them, but I don't know how they're going to fit in here. You know what I mean? Like, now it really does look like a wedding dress. <laughs> you know, I mean, honestly, wedding laces. There we are. So this here is done in a very smooth silk rhythm, and when they're folded up against the front, of the samba here are they gonna maintain the shape are they just gonna be looking like literally like you just strapped your front of your shoe with ribbon that's how it's gonna feel to me I might try it later on but I'm in love with the factory laces and I love the way that this is tightly laced so I'm not gonna stick to these ones over here but you let me know tree gum gums should I go crazy and put on the wedding style laces and uh yeah i don't know i just i'm not a fan of these sorry uh look great sort of idea but execution wise i don't know but you let me know tree gum gums if i get enough yeses if i get enough likes um uh, i might just throw these on just for curiosity's sake on the insole here we've got the adidas logo trefar logo and the wales bonner logo side by side very very cool um and yeah done in a nice white as well now these laces i prefer because you've got the wales bonner there and that is done in a nice kind of browny black so yeah very very cool as well sock liner is very exquisite as well tree gum gums this is very high class quality indeed um, almost like a very stiff very elegant smooth nylon over here your feet be very very and then on the back here we've got a very nice um, hard I was gonna say hard plastic but not hard plastic just a very nice shiny uh, slab there on the back kind of like that bone white and the bone white is actually a really good match here with the shiny silver okay so here's a sneaker side by side tree gum gums and as you can see here this is a real statement piece for sure. I had to get these. I got a couple of shiny silver pairs. I got the uh, Concepts one based on the Adidas AZ series, which included the really cool ZX with the Boston Marathon. But these ones take the cake. These happen to probably be my favorite shiny sneaker. And yeah, you know, I love my Sambas. I love the collabs. I'm tempted on the sporty and rich ones. But this one here is a pair that I'm going to dare to wear 
because I just can't wait to hear the looks, see the looks. I mean, <laughs> this is just so cool. But you let me know, True Gum Gums, would you rock the Silver Sambas, the Wales Bonner collab? Would you rock them? How do you rate them? Do you prefer the more um, laid back beige pair, which is quite clean as well? The cream pair, they're very, very nice. They also, um, Wales Bonner also released the um, ZL72s. I got the Jamaican pair, so stay tuned for a review of that. Don't forget to like, sub, and share if you care, and I'll catch you all in the next video. I'm repeat, peace out, and yeah, look, Adidas, they might not have yay anymore, but they still got the Samba wave, and it's going to continue to wave along into 2023. How long will it last for? Well, I guess we're going to find out. Bye.